People of Capital People City. People of Capital City, gather round and listen to the story that I have to tell you. This is the story of a tribute, the greatest tribute that ever lived. Do you remember Katniss from District 12 who won this year's games? Do you remember how she took the place of her sister? How she entered the capital in flames? How she survived through so much and in the end, that moment with the berries? That moment with the berries? Her and her true love. Do you remember the tension of that moment? Do you remember how exciting that was? Well, today I want to tell you about an even greater tribute whose story is even more exciting than that of Katniss. Although, like Katniss, what this tribute did changed the rules. And what Katniss did for her sister that first time you saw her on screen, this man did for the whole human race. And yet, he has never been on your screens, and you have never heard his name. And yet, he has never been on your screens, and you have never heard his name. Long ago... There was another capital city. It too had 12 districts. But the capital was invaded and taken over by outsiders. Outsiders who ruled over the people against their will. These rulers demanded tributes of the people. Sometimes they were forced to kill each other in games, in great arenas, in cities far from their own land. There was no television in those days, so people would come from far and wide to see the games. But then there were the other kind of tributes, those who had been declared criminals. For these, there were no games. Instead, they were nailed to a plank of wood and hung up in public for everyone to watch them nailed slowly die. Nailed to a die. plank of wood and hung up in public. As a reminder that no one should rebel against the new rulers of the capital. As a reminder that no one should rebel against the new rulers of the capital. When the great tribute came, he was declared a criminal. Though he had done no wrong, he was declared a rebel, but all he had done was to tell the people the truth about the world they were living in. The secret good news about the world and something special that was about to happen. Yet they took him as a tribute anyway, and he died. And there was no way for that kind of tribute to win. So it seemed like the good news would be lost. But there was a deep secret to this man, and his story was not finished. Do you remember in this year's games, when that little girl, Rue, was killed, and Katniss decorated her body in flowers? Well, before the time of the great tribute, there was another teacher who spoke these very ancient words. He said, from dust we are born, and to dust we return. That teacher went on to say that when we are gone, we are forgotten as if we never existed. When Katniss put those flowers around Rue's body, she declared to the capital that this girl would not be forgotten. This girl will be remembered. This girl will be remembered. And though the flowers were not shown in the highlights, I know that you all still remember that image. Let me ask you this. Who created this capital city? Who created these buildings? Wasn't it people who were long since dead and returned to the dust? And who created the ground upon which capital city stands? Who created the coal that is mined by District 12? Who created 12? the first plants before District 11 who even put the existed? Who fish in the sea for District 4? Or placed the raw materials in the ground for District 3 to make use of in the factories? Do you think that it was the people who rule Capital City today? Do you think that the game makers built the very ground that you walk upon? You and I are in a bigger game where there is more at stake than who will win, or which tribute will be the most interesting television. You and I are in a game that encompasses the entire world, and the hunger we feel is deeper than the hunger to win, or the hunger to survive. It is the hunger to be remembered. It is the hunger to have meaning and to have a sense of purpose in our lives. Do you think that the capital city can feed that part of you? Do you think that you will be remembered by this city when you're gone? There was a rebellion here many years ago, and to this day, tributes continue to pay the price of that rebellion. But let me ask you this. 
Did Rue lead a rebellion against this city? Did Katniss? And did the city create the land that Rue and Katniss worked upon for your benefit? And so I ask you, who is it that you need to pay tribute to? Who have you rebelled against? Who have you offended and who have you hurt? Whose goodness have you not repaid? And whose kindness has meant that you can live while others cannot? Is there any one of us who has never hurt another person? Is there any one of us who has not stood by and watched as another person suffered? Instead of standing up like Katniss did and saying, Take me instead. Take me instead. And if there is a great game maker, the game maker of all things, a creator of all things before all cities and all districts, a creator of the earth and sky who put fish in the sea and coal in the earth, then who is to pay tribute to this creator? For all the rebellions that have been raised up against him. We rebel against him every time we cut down a tree and do not replace it. We rebel against him every time we dig up coal and have no concern for how it will be replaced. We rebel against him every time we take fish from the sea and forget to give thanks for the one who created them in the first place. But most of all, we rebel against him every time we harm another human being. Because here is part of the secret truth. Part of that good news that we thought was lost. The great game maker loves us more than any other part of his creation, and he wants us to be remembered. But he is angry with us when we stand by and let others die, especially when it is to pay the debt that was not owed by the people who paid it and was not owed to the people who demanded it. He is angry when a child of his creation is killed for a cause that is not just. Because he considered Rue to be his child, just as he considers each of you to be his children. But here is the secret, the good news, the stunning twist in the plot. The great tribute was more than just a man. He was the embodiment of the great creator himself, the great game maker. He was the game maker within the game. He was the creator born in human form. And when he died as a tribute, he paid the debt that was not owed by him. Instead, whilst it seemed that he had died to pay the tribute to the invaders of the old capital, in reality he died to take all our tributes upon himself. All of the tributes owed to him, he himself paid, so that no more tributes would be necessary, so that no person should demand tribute from their fellow human, nor would he demand tribute from us ever again. All our rebellions are forgiven if we acknowledge that he is the true creator, the true game maker, and anyone who demands tribute from us is in fact in rebellion against the true game maker. Though it seemed that he had lost the game when he died as a tribute, he shocked the world by returning to life three days later and claiming victory of a hunger game that should have had no victor. And so he left this world in victory to return to the true capital. A city that is beyond all our games, beyond our work, beyond our districts, beyond Panem, beyond this world and beyond death where the great game maker and the great tribute rule as one for all time. And we shall all be remembered if we believe, because we will be in that capital together. One day we will all be in that great capital together. And although he has returned to the true capital, he did not leave us without help, for we have a gift from our true sponsor, in the form of his spirit who remains with us. So that just as we are not forgotten to him, so he is not forgotten to us. The name of this tribute was Jesus. Follow me and I will tell you about his adventures. And I will teach you how you can know this tribute today. And I will show you the way to the true capital. And I will show you the way to the true capital.